Here we go, starting off CNC break, 13,593. Let's start off with the Series 1 uh, pin, and then we'll move into the Patrick Silver Box and Synergy. Let's crush it. Yeah, let's get some uh, big cards all around. All around big cards. Canvas of Deno for the Habs. So the Habs are the first ones on the boards. Base. Base. We've got an Oilers, Young Guns, Ryan McLeod. I hope we see many Matthews and McDavid's and everything else. Portraits, rookies of Kiefer Bellows for the Islanders. Like, no word of a lie, I hope we have the McDavid 99 and the Matthews 99. Wouldn't that be something? That would be the greatest break of all time. Portrait of Konechny for the Flyers. We've got for the Vegas Golden Knights, Young Guns, Peyton Kreps, and a Crosby Dazzlers gold or yellow for the Penguins. We've got a gold for the Islanders of Glossy Rookies of Kiefer Bellows. For the Habs, Jake Evans. Montreal Glossy. And a Kiefer Bellows. I feel like almost every single one of these I get Kiefer Bellows. All right. You type like a six-year-old. Uh, it was pulled, Steve. It was pulled. We've got an Anders Bjork newcomers for the Boston Bruins. Noteworthy newcomers, Boston Bruins. For the Flyers, Jason Ackeson. $4.99. And we've got for the Minnesota Wild SB Excitement jersey, Eric Stahl. Eric Stahl. Minnesota on the board. <laughs> All right, we've got a retro for the Maple Leafs of Bernier. Uh, I don't think so, no, Bert. I think it's still up there, right? For the Blue Jackets, a 2 99 Jeff Carter. Limited base, Jeff Carter. For the Minnesota Wild, Spectrum FX of Eric Stahl. Spectrum FX, Eric Stahl. We got a, a rookie, ultra rookie to 6 99 Jared McCann, Vancouver Canucks. Jared McCann. For the Hawks, Milestones, Tony Esposito. We've got a rookie phenom um, from the portfolio of Sam Bennett. I can't remember which of these ones are called. I think those are the arts. Or colored photo rookie. And we've got for the Coyotes, number to 50 freshman signatures. Michael Stone. Coyotes certified auto of Stone. All right, and the packs. We'll do the SBA, then the Allure, then the Artifacts. We've got a Rene for the Nashville Predators. Update. Rookie for the Golden Knights, Jimmy Schold. 
We've got a short print rookie of Brandstrom for the Ottawa Senators. The red version. We got a white die cut of Brock Besser for the Canucks. And a Les Barals for the Dallas Stars rookie. Sick. For the Flyers, dual rookie jersey, Philip Myers. Dual jersey rookie, Myers for the Flyers. I love when you get the main colors of those teams, like the orange. I love when you get that. All right, synergy. So right now, I feel like, you know, Minnesota's beating uh, Edmonton, just want to point that out. We've got a red for the Blues of Vince Dunn, red rookie. We've got a blue for the Bruins of Force Baca Carlson. And we've got, yeah, blue. And an exceptional town of Gretzky for the Oilers. We've got for the Avalanche, Sam Girard, red. We've got for the uh, Sharks, green of Brent Burns. And we've got a newcomers of Kerfoot for the uh, for the Avalanche. New Jersey Devils, Taylor Hall, red. We've got a green of Matthews for the Maple Leafs. What's up, Lash? How you doing? And an impact players of Nikki Lidstrom for the Red Wings. We've got a Vancouver Canucks, Daniel Sedin. Red. We've got a green rookie for the Oilers of Yamamoto. Oilers got mad that I said that. Yamamoto. And we got a newcomers of Jack Roslevic for the Winnipeg Jets. Boston Bruins, Brad Marchand, red. Carolina Hurricanes, Jeff Skinner, blue. And we got an impact players of Line 8 for the Jets. For the Penguins, Carter Rowney. For Penguins. For the Calgary Flames, blue of John A. Goudreau. And an exceptional talent of Tyson Jost for the Avalanche. Uh, Brad, yeah, I hope so, if they fill. Vince Dunn, red rookie. Probably the bounty version, yep. New Jersey Devils, blue of Mario Broder. Anything that's up tonight, we can get done tonight. And an impact players of Marner for the Leafs. We've got an Ottawa Senators, Logan Brown, red. We've got a blue of McDavid for the Oilers. And we got a career-spanning random New Jersey and the Blues. All right. Maybe Colorado's time to shine here. Oilers, Justin Schultz. Oilers are making a statement now. We've got an MVP for the Penguins, Paul Coffey. Young Guns for the Oilers, Justin Schultz. We got a shining stars of Dowdy for the LA Kings. Canvas of Dustin Brown for the LA Kings. Young Guns, Richard Ponick for the Tampa Bay Lightning. MVP of Stammer for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, eBay is honestly probably the easiest, or Facebook group. 
We have a good Facebook group that you can just take pictures. Evander Kane jersey for the Winnipeg Jets. Like I said, we do have a Facebook group. I highly recommend all of you guys join it. Um, you just take a picture, you post it. Might save you some fees and all that fun stuff. Worry about feedback and stuff like that. So. We've got a marquee rookie for the Jets of Kyle Connor. Yeah, I don't know if anyone can give a link to that. Zuccarello. Canvas is kind of mangled on the bottom, by the way. For the Rangers. Just going to point that out. Tristan Jari. Young Guns for the Penguins. It will never be forgiven, Michelle. Never will be forgiven. Scott Wedgwood for the new Jersey Devils Young Guns. Portraits rookies of Jacob Chitrin for the Coyotes. Marky rookie of Duclair for the Coyotes. Um, Golden, do you mind just posting if you have it the Facebook link to uh, well, our Facebook group? We got a program of excellence canvas, Ryan Pulak. Thanks, Marta. I appreciate that. We've got a game jersey of Anderson for the Ottawa Senators, Craig Anderson. Retro rookie of Shabbat for the Ottawa Senators. Andre Kasha for the Anaheim Ducks, Young Guns. Portraits rookies of Drake Kajula for the Oilers. Canvas for the Florida Panthers. Yarmer Yager. Kyle Rowe, Young Guns for the Florida Panthers. We've got a retro rookie of Surgachev for the Habs. Uh, all these boxes are, yes, they are part of it. Marky Rookie for the Rangers of Buchnevich. Larson for the Anaheim Ducks, Portraits Rookies. Marky Rookie of Aho for the Canes. Timo Meyer, Young Guns for the Sharks. Marky Rookie of Paul Yarvi for the Oilers. Giroux for the Flyers. Canvas. We've got a Young Guns. Patrick Line. Line A Young Guns for the Jets. I highly recommend, guys, if you guys want anything graded, just do the checkout. We can get it done for you. So that's pretty sweet. Nice start there. Portraits Rookies of Mott for the Hawks. Nice start for that one. Taylor Hall for the Devils. You own two of those? Nice. And finish off with a base pack. Very, very blue finish. So yeah, if anyone wants to get any cards graded in here, you guys know the drill. Just do the checkout, the MNT grading, and then uh, put the card in the notes, and we'll get it out for you. We normally do the shipments on Fridays, just so you guys know. So. But if they're if we have a lot of cards, sometimes we do a bit earlier, but normally Fridays. We've got 
Oh yeah, those base packs in retail. I always forget that in retail. Those base packs in there. Zamula for the Philadelphia Flyers, Young Guns. Portrait of Carlson for the Caps. Timothy Lilligren for the Maple Leafs, Young Guns. Base. Oh, nice. Good for you. For a check for the Philadelphia Flyers canvas. Joseph Wool, Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Uh, money, I could probably get Dan to scan it for you. Velarde for the LA Kings rookies. But I can, uh, I can quickly go through it and then let you know. Normally, I don't recommend anything if I don't think it's going to get a 9 or higher. Because I normally look at the cards pretty quickly when I open it. But I can at least see pretty roughly what they look like. Portrait of Patterson for the Canucks. Korshkov, Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. For my opinions, I also like getting anything crazy no matter what. Young Guns canvas of Karushev. If it does come back an 8-5 hypothetically, it's still good to let your buyers know that they're not getting a uh, mint card. So I, I actually like both sides of that, to be honest. I think it's helpful for the, uh, the seller. It gives you a lot less grief if you sold it. Sebastian Aho Dazzlers for the Carolina Hurricanes. So the customer doesn't return it back on you or something like that. Canvas for the Rangers of Buchnevich. But it looked pretty good when I looked at it, Money. It looked pretty good, to be honest. Jake Evans for the Montreal Canadiens. Young Guns. Sorry, uh, by the way, you're right, my, my tutu I got graded after you said I should came back last Monday. Sorry, what do you mean by that? Portrait, uh, Buffalo Sabres, Jack Eichel. Oh, 9-5 each. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry, came back to you. Baudet, Young Guns for the Hawks. All right, money. Just do the checkout, sir. Bernier canvas for the Red Wings. Um, Jason, so here's an honest, kind of like from my opinion on cards, okay? We've got a uh, Oliver Ekman Larson for the uh, Coyotes. We we had a Marner Young Gun when it first came out, so it was selling between about eighty to hundred bucks. We sold it for a customer. The guy got the card. He said he wasn't happy with the card because it was a small little corner thing, okay? So he returned it. We then put it back up on, on eBay with an even more clear image of the card <laughs> for the customer. Sent it out to another customer. The guy bought it. He got it. Said he didn't realize. He didn't look at all the pictures. He didn't realize it had that damage. He sent it back. We had to refund it. We lost the shipping again. We then decided to get it graded. It got graded an 8. It sold for $30 lower than what a raw normally goes for. But the amount of hassle that would have happened either way, because both guys basically said they would keep the card, but they want it half price. So at the end of the day, we lost, or obviously because we helped with the customer a bit on that, but we lost someone like 20 bucks on shipping. The customer lost out on um, a few sales and stuff like that. Like, is this... Mike Card for the Buffalo Sabres Prize Prospects in 1999. So online, for example, I do think long-term, it's nice to let the buyers know what exactly they're getting. There's no... Like, for example, if that does come back in 8.5, the buyer knows exactly what he's getting. And that's where I'm saying it benefits a bit. We've got a Prize Prospects in 1999 of Joel Perot for the Coyotes.
We've got a redemption of Adam Denis. Does anyone remember who he was for? Adam Denis, number to 100. Red Hot Auto. Adam Denis. The first one goes to my head is Colorado. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But that'll be expired redemption raffle. Prize prospects of Tim Brent for the Anaheim Ducks. We've got... Oh, this is a nice one. This is 6-7. We've got an Ovechkin second year number jersey to 100. Alex Ovechkin. Looks so young. Second year jersey. That's pretty sweet. Now, Big John, are you going to hold on to Tua? Because I heard he didn't have the craziest year, apparently. Again, I don't watch football, so I don't really know. We've got a Hot Materials jersey of Phil Kessel. Drafted by Buffalo. Adam Denis, okay. So he's a Buffalo guy. Am I thinking of Mark Denis? Would that one make more sense? Was he Colorado? Oh, it was Adam Dennis, wasn't it? Who the hell was I thinking of? Kyle Kuminski for the Avalanche, number two, 1999. I don't think I'm Mark Denis. Whoever I was thinking of, I was clearly wrong, but it's obviously Adam Dennis. I don't know why I said Denis. So my apologies. We've got for the Oilers to 599, Ladislav Smeed. Ladislav Smeed. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, honestly, Big John's not for me. I'm more so saying I was wondering if you're trying to move him. I just don't know if it would be the best time to move him until he has maybe a better season, right? That's all I was trying to say. For the Nashville Predators, J.P. Dumont. Nashville Hot Material Jersey. And we finish with the base. Well, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. Both 9.5s. That is impressive. Impressive. Yeah, I think we also had that with an Eichel. Eichel 99 Cup Rookie we sold for a guy. Same thing. Shipped it to somebody. He wasn't super thrilled. He asked for like... 50% off. Our customer said not a chance. We got it graded. It came back in eight. And we sold it for more than what he sold it for originally. Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. Milestones. Hey, no worries, Big John. I'm happy you got them back. And I'm happy you got nine fives on them. That's pretty boss. Moments of McDavid for the Oilers. We've got a spectrum of Tavares for the Maple Leafs. Moments of Alex Ovechkin for the Caps. Panarin Red for the Blue Jackets. Moments of Sveshnikov for the Canes. Future Watch Auto of Lindblom for the Philadelphia Flyers. Oscar Lindblom. Yeah. Are you taking them then, or you are? Okay. You want to take it? Probably, probably better, right? Vancouver Canucks, Besser. Yeah, yeah leave it on my desk, please. Thank you. Sign of the times, number to 99, rookie for the Devils, Jesper Bratt. Jesper Bratt. And also on the conversation, Jason, just to prove a point, I did buy an exquisite Matthews card that was graded 7. <laughs> and I do appreciate that the guy got it graded, so I knew exactly what was wrong with it. Milestones, Guy Lafleur.
Yeah, they definitely will. I agree with you on that. Cogliano for the Dallas Stars. I also feel like nowadays, with higher-end cards, people are getting way more detailed on it. He Shear, milestones for the Devils. Way more detailed. Especially if you have any McDavid stuff nowadays. A red of Goudreau for the Flames. This is a sick box. 90s sign of the times. Mike Madonna. Dallas Stars. Mike Madonna. That might be a rare one. That's pretty filthy. We've got a Jace Howerlick for the Florida Panthers, Young Guns. Nick Bukestad for the Penguins. Are you ready to go? Or Milestones of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. And Dubois for the Blue Jackets Red. So give me one second, folks. Gonna let the lady out. And I'll be right back. Give me one second, folks. I let the sanitize do its sanitizing, and then uh, it'll dry off. So just give me one second. We are way too sanitized around this place, I tell you. Holy jeez. All right, nice and dry. Like be golden personality. Boom. Better be sanitizing, not exactly. I'm waiting for the response in that one. I felt like that was a good fit in that one. A good little mini burn. Boom, roasted. We've got a red limited of Taves for the Hawks. You didn't hear the punchline? Joel Edmondson for the Carolina Hurricanes. It's been past P Golden. I'm done now. It's done. Moment of Tavares for the Maple Leafs. SP Essentials of Marshawn for the Boston Bruins. It was only positive, though, Be Golden. I, I assure you that, you know. Adam Werner, Young Guns, for the Avalanche. That's an inside joke. Moments of Carey Price for the Habs. We've got a Buffalo Sabres, Linus Olmark. Mitchell Stevens, Young Guns for the Tampa Lightning. Lightning, apparently. Lightning. Dougie Hamilton, red for the Carolina Hurricanes. Ooh, very nice. For the Tampa Bay Lightning. Black inscribed sign of the times number to 40, Yanni Gord. They don't call you Mamadou. 
Number to 40, Black, Sign of the Times. Sick. SP Essentials for the Boston Bruins of Pasternak. Sidney Crosby, Red Limited for the Penguins. And a Nick Camano, Future Watch for the Dallas Stars. Moments of Alex Petrangelo for the Blues. Chris, on the previous Monsters, did you not get in like the first, second, first or second or third spot? Braden Holpe for the Caps. All-Star. Spectrum FX of Dubois for the Blue Jackets. Spectrum Future Watch of Myers for the Flyers. Ah, uh, just rarities and stuff. Future Watch Auto for the San Jose Sharks, Noah Gregor. Noah Gregor. You're going to get two spots in the next one? Beautiful. Uh, 5 nine, nine, I think I did, yes. Winners of Cujo for the Maple Leafs. Wow, that is uh, that is as random as you're gonna get. Eh? You're you're either number landing number one or thirty one. That is a fun, <laughs> fun game. So I'm calling it, Chris. On the, one of the next monsters, whichever one you join, you are going to get number um, number fifteen, fifteen or sixteen. We've got for the Rangers. Jimmy VC, 399 rookie. Jimmy VC. He's not playing too bad. I'm actually pretty happy with VC right now. For the Panthers, jersey of Barkov. Alexander Barkov. Nice. Number to 199. Shadow Box Rookie Auto Justin Bailey. These things are thick. Thick. 109. Leon, how you doing, good sir? And we've got for the Islanders, 165 rookie auto, Ryan Pulak. I agree with you, Shane. I think some players might thrive more having like pretty much no pressures on them, right? Probably makes them feel a lot better too. Talk about VC. I, I don't know, Leon. I feel like at a certain point that has to be a calling. Do you not get the sense that maybe that is just meant to be? Sub-Zero of Crosby for the Penguins. Yeah, McKay has been playing okay, but he just has not been performing. We've got Superb Script Rookie Auto Sebastian Aho. I think these were one of the cases for sure. Sebastian, ah, wait, that was a seventeen eighteen update, wasn't it? I grabbed the right box, right? Yes. <laughs> rookie. No, is this a rookie one? Yeah, it is too. Sweet. Carolina. Very nice. Throws me off when they put updated stuff in there sometimes. Nine ninety nine Lindholm for the Avalanche. Ice rookie. Super, super rookie. Su, Sub-Zero, Philip Heedle for the Rangers. Sub-Zero rookie.
We've got a 12.99 for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Jake Dotchin. For the Boston Bruins, Ice Premier Jersey, Jake DeBrusk. Um, for the Boston Bruins jersey. So what we were talking about earlier is, do you guys want me to post these on Friday night from now on? So post the monster Friday night. I know it doesn't maybe make that much of a difference, but I did have quite a few of our guys say that they missed out on it. So should I maybe just like make it a normal thing saying that uh, Friday night is going to be the last Friday of the month will be when we post the monster. The last Saturday will be the, the mixer for the free spot. And the last Sunday of the month will be the big monster every single month. Is that a fair assessment to everyone? That's how we should do it. We've got an orange of Heesher for the Devils. And an Ice Premier's rookie jersey of Lazotte for the LA Kings. I do me. Yeah. Well, I normally don't post Saturday afternoons, Leon, for uh, big breaks. That's It was a bit of a difference. I do agree. Trey Saito Green for the Oilers. Ice Premier's retro rookie of Texier for the Blue Jackets. 149. And for the Calgary Flames, signature swatches. Jersey numbered 23 of 150. Sean Monahan. Jersey numbered. Signature swatches. Well, at the end of the day, um, I think that'll be the easiest thing. And I'm giving you guys fair warning because at the end of February, we're going to do the same thing. Barzol Green for the uh, Islanders. And for the Maple Leafs, Ice Premier's rookie auto, Ilya Makayev. Ilya Makayev for the Maple Leafs. So the 28th will be the next monster, by the way, the next big monster. February 28th. We've got for the Philadelphia Flyers, Carter Hart Green. And we've got a 1299 Kevin Stenlin. Uh, have they not announced anything card yet? Does anyone know? 1299 Blue Jackets, Kevin Stenlin. We've got a Tampa Bay Lightning Green Stamkos and a Carolina Hurricanes 499 Itu Loisterinen. Does anyone know if they've officially said anything on Cup yet? Uh, Jason, we do a regular monster on. Uh, we're going to do a regular monster on every Sunday, which is still a big, big, big monster. But then we're going to do a mega monster at the end of the month. So, that is the game plan. So regular monster every Sunday, mega monster end of the month. Brown, how you doing, sir? We've got a very nice start. A rookie relic redemption. Number six, emerald jersey Patch. That will be randomed between everybody. But that's a decent one. Emerald Jersey Patch number six. A um, couple small ones, Mark. Nothing crazy yet, but again, I haven't done the big products yet. But we've got a couple small ones. He's had a Texier Retro Rookie at 149 from Ice. And this, an Emerald 99 Rookie, Liam Foodie. When's the Epic Mega Ultra Monster? Well, those will be the Milestone Monsters. Technically, right? Holy box of awesomeness. Another random between everybody retro rookie redemption number four. Uh, has anyone, have they announced when Cup is getting released, by the way? Just so I know. 
We've got a year one rookie sweaters of Victor Olofsson for the Buffalo Sabres. No hits and all hits, yeah. Victor Olofsson. We've got a 999 for the Habs, Jake Evans. Rookie. We've got for the Avalanche, Orum of Nathan McKinnon. The 24th. So, what I'm hearing, I do not want to give any confirmation, guys. What I'm hearing is it's going to be uh, between the 17th and 24th, ideally. For the Rangers, 299, Panarin. Mark, if you don't mind me asking, what'd you get? Uh, what'd you get it at? If you don't want to share, I'm more than happy with that. Three to nine, Matthew Barzell for the Islanders. Just kind of curious. It will be expensive. My guess it'll be between. Uh, honestly, right now that I think it is, it's gonna be between nine hundred to twelve hundred Canadian. Canadian, just everyone's clear. <laughs> Ooh, we got a Celsius. I love those cards. We've got a Maple Leafs. Tim Horton. Uh, Tim, yeah. Sorry. Tim Horton. For the Oilers, Celsius of Grand Fear. Grand Fear. Grand Fear. Seven, eight thousand, so four thousand. What's that? Oh, sorry, what's the math on that per case? My apologies. I break down Burton. Darcy Tucker for the Maple Leafs. Darcy Tucker. And for the Hawks, Steve Thomas. What's the breakdown? That's uh. Wow, that's a good price on that. I, uh, I honestly, Brown, I hope, I really, really, really do hope for your sake that guy follows through on that. That is a phenomenal deal. Good for you. For the Coyotes, because it's the old Winnipeg Jets, Team Musani. Mussolini. For the Panthers, Bobrovsky. Wow. I heard not many people got them uh, on that. Yeah, I was going to say. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Volkov. Volkov, Tampa Bay Lightning. So good for you, man. That's awesome. For the Capitals, 149, Martin Fairberry, green rookie. Yeah, I hope you get them and you murder them. That would be awesome. Fair, very. For the Hawks, the 75. Alex Dabrinkat. Uh, money, no. It's the old Winnipeg Jets, which got moved to the Coyotes. We've got for the Blues, Reliance Rookie Auto, Mackenzie McEachran. Rookie Reliance, Mackenzie McEachran. And we got a century momentous of Glenn Hall for the Hawks. Well, here's my honest advice to anyone contemplating. I've had this conversation with you guys uh, like 50 times, and I promise you I'm going to have it 50 more times this year. If you're going to buy it, buy it right away. Do not sit there and wait. It's, I promise. Oh, there goes that box. I promise you it's not going to go down. <laughs> so... For the Ottawa Senators, exquisite of Carlson. So if you're contemplating getting it, literally get it, because it's, it's gonna only go up. Like look at what Mark just said. It, he bought two of them for, what was it, 8,000? And now they're 9,400 US, like that's huge. 249, Klingberg, Dallas Stars. I would decide as soon as you can, yes. For the Flyers, we've got a team logo jumbos, Ivan Provorov. 
And Kyle, I can tell you, again, just to uh, give you guys some fun perspective of what's going on right now for dealers. And again, you can verify this with any other dealer that deals with uh, pretty much one of the two dealers that we deal with in Canada. We've got a Rookie Gems Auto 199 Lawson Kraus. If you want to know something crazy, guys, we're selling SBA and Stature and Premier lower than my new buy price. Think about that. So when I run out of SBA, I think it's SBA, Stature, and Premier, and Ice, and Ice, sorry. All of those right now I have for sale lower than my new buy price. That's the next stage. It's going to be crazy. We've got for the Blue Jackets, $2.99 dual jersey booklet, Sonny Milano. So in my honest opinion, guys, I absolutely think you're going to start seeing SBA and stature at about $3.29, $3.49, $3.69, somewhere around there. You're going to start seeing Premier about $600. Bucks. Very, very soon. And we've got number to 399, Patrick Line. Now, this one definitely on the top corners looks a little. I don't know. I don't think it's a design. It looked a little banged up on the corners, just so you know. But nice rookie. Line. It is. So again, that's why I've been trying to, I'm trying to keep you guys as well informed as possible. It ain't going down. So like if you think SBA is high at 300 now, I promise you within like, you know, a month to two weeks, you're going to see, you're going to see that price being 350 to 400 bucks at most places. That's pretty much what you have to get it at. So we've got for the Red Wings. Dual patch to 49, Zetterberg and Nyquist. Like, being straight up, there's just, there's way more collectors than there is boxes right now. And that's not a bad thing for our hobby to have growth. But it's basically the beginning stages where all these new collectors are coming in and there's just not enough boxes for them. <laughs> oh, sweet. I guess I missed the base card in this, but I'm okay with that. We've got a Rookie Gems Black of Della Rose for the Montreal Canadiens. Not numbered? Sorry, what do you mean not numbered? Black Rookie out of 25. We've got a Championship Rings of Kruger for the Hawks. Rings. We've got a dual rookie booklet relics for the Calgary Flames, Emile Poirier. Dual booklet relics, Poirier. And another rookie to 399, Noah Hannafin. Kyle, um, again, I, I don't, I don't want to pretend I have any expert knowledge in this because I've never seen the market do what it's doing now. I will give you guys some ideas and I'll happily share with you guys, uh, I'll happily share with you guys something cool. So remember when I was telling you guys about the prism, I'm just going to take a drink first guys. Remember when I was telling you guys about the prism, uh, Ovechkin and uh, Crosby that I had the autographs. We've got a 199 Sebastian Aho for Carolina. I bought the Crosby thing for like 150 bucks. I bought the Ovi for like 80. And I had the Ovi graded by MNT. I got a 95, and I had the Crosby by Beckett uh, way back in the day. And holy, that is sweet goodness. Numbered three of five. Marky Rookie, Platinum Marky Rookie Auto for the Buffalo Sabres, Jack 
Eichel. Three of five. Jack Eichel. So the story that I have is I sold both of the cards, the Crosby and the Ovi. So what do you guys think as a combo that I, I sold them for as a combo? And I'm more than I'm going to tell you guys just so you guys know. I will tell you guys the amount. I'm not one of those guys to to keep that in the dark. I don't care about that stuff because what's done is done. So remember, I bought the Ovi for eighty. I bought the Crosby for one hundred and fifty. The Crosby I bought graded. The Crosby I did buy graded. For the Boston Bruins, number four of eleven. Charlie McAvoy. Charlie. When did I sell them? I sold them three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Charlie McAvoy. Alright, so I see all your guys' guesses, okay? I sold them. Instantly, instantly, for six and a half thousand dollars US. So here's the fun one, okay? So I messaged the guy after I sold him and he got them. So we're all like, everything's done, okay? I literally said, Are you a Crosby guy? Are you an OV guy? Or are you a Prism guy? And he goes, To be honest, those are the first hockey cards I've bought. He goes, I normally collect basketball stuff, but I'm now going into hockey. And I was like, all right. We've got a Chalowski for the Red Wings. He knows the market. Like, he knows he's buying these long term for the Red Wings. We've got, that's a nice one, for the Calgary Flames, the 99 patch auto rookie Dylan Dubé. But what I'm saying, though, and the reason why this is important in conversation, the amount of these guys that are coming into our hobby, that they have no idea about what the previous values should be, are coming in and just blowing tons of money. That's the difference right now. These guys are coming and coming quickly. We've got a Norm Allman Legends autograph for the Maple Leafs. And also, just to tell you guys some more fun stories, we've literally had several calls over the last couple weeks. Anaheim Ducks, 399 Sam Steele. So we had one guy last uh, last week call us. And we got Anaheim Ducks, 299 Comtois. He literally called me. He goes, do you have any McDavid's? And I go, no, right now we don't have any. Like, he wants rookie. I go, no. He goes, well, he goes, I have no idea what I'm looking to buy, to be honest. He goes, but I have $20,000, and I just want to buy kind of the best of the best. I go, well, do you know what set? He goes, I honestly don't even know what the sets are. He goes, I just want the best rookies. That is what we have a whole bunch of people coming into our hobby right now. And they have no idea what they're buying, which is fun. But that's what people don't realize right now is hockey is going to climb a lot more, I think. I honestly do think it's going to climb more. And I do think the big, big, big boys are going to uh, go higher. Larson, two ninety nine. I think the Crosby's, the OV's, the McKinnon's. McDavid's, Matthews, those guys. So. We've got a 299 cool Balik. Um, Scott, I plan on trying to get most, if not everything, done tonight. Yeah. We've got for the Flyers, 299 rookie patch auto of German Rupsoff. And you know what the funny thing is, Jason? If you told anyone that in October... People would have been like, man, you're nuts. Why are you buying for 100 bucks each? It's just the times, man. You're making good money. That's great. Um, Max, I wouldn't say it's more busy. Woo! Nice. 99 Super Rookie Patch Auto of Zadina for the Red Wings. 
I think it's, you got to remember, supply right now is very, very little. Back in the day, a new product comes out, I could just call my distributor and get five more cases, no problem. Now it's, here's what you're getting, and you're going to pay an arm and a leg if you want two more. And that's literally what we're dealing with. We've got a triple jersey, triple rookie jersey, which we randomed between Buffalo, Vancouver, and Colorado, Makar, Hughes, and Olofsson. But I don't mind this. Honestly, like, I, I like the craze aspect of it. I like that it's shorted, and I think it's cleaned up a lot of the hobby. Like, it really has. And I will tell you, from my perspective, Vasilevsky 99 for the Tampa Bay Lightning. From my perspective, like, when there's too much boxes in the marketplace, it's not healthy. Right now, the market's starving, which is great. And Makaya for the Leafs. So as all the old products, for example, are now pretty much gone, everyone's going to the new products, which is causing a very big shortage. How many cup cases were you allotted? I haven't even been allotted to cut mine out yet. <laughs> to give you an idea of how how uh, artifacts I knew, I think, four days or three days before. So I'm guessing probably I'll know in a week or two, I hope. But it is what it is. Um, Kyle, yeah, but there's always going to be the cheaper boxes, per se, that you guys could, could buy, right? But the thing is, as the boxes go up, so does the big single, so you're, you're kind of winning on both sides. Yurianov, three ninety nine for the All-Stars. This is absolutely the best thing that could have happened to the hobby. One forty nine Ray Bork, and do not get me wrong, I absolutely know... There's going to be way more people getting upset over the next six months, you know, about um, where the hobby's going. For the wild, the two ninety nine Luke Kunin. And what I mean by that is that they're going to say it's too expensive. It's going to go that way, but literally we're going to go into a time where within like a month, products are going to be near impossible to find. That's really good for hobby products. For the Blue Jackets, Panarin. I feel like we got a big card coming up. Those first three cards were not very good. We've got a 99. Ink script. Auto to... I already said 99. John Van Beesbrook. Jeez. John Van Beesbrook. Uh, weren't they only four? They went down to like two to three. So, ah, oh, there it is. Numbered one of six. Mega patch shoulder logos. Mark Stone. Brad, I don't know if you will see that much of a dip. To be completely honest on that, I think collectors are collectors. They will want to keep investing. I don't think... These are not your normal... And I'm not saying this in a rude way. These are not your normal 10, 20, 25 year old guys who are just going home and don't have much to do at night and hobby. Like like me when I was younger, I filled up my night with the hobby. Huberto for the Panthers. A lot of these guys that we're talking about, they are straight up very rich businessmen. And they was they want to buy these cards, they want to put them away in their safe, and they want to check back in like ten years, and they are spending a lot of money. So, I, I don't know if it's honestly going to change. Because, like, the guys who are buying Premier right now or Cup, they're not these guys who are just like, oh, I, I want to get into this craze and spend $3,000. They're just, they're gambling at this point. So. You sold your McDavid BGS 10 for 900 Well, hope you were happy with that then. At the end of the day, you can't always win, right? Luongo for the Panthers. Don't worry, Dan sold his Future Watch McKinnon, I think, for 250 bucks like a year ago. Two ninety nine, Casperi Kapanen. So if any of you guys want to make fun of Dan, <laughs> two ninety nine. For the Rangers, two ninety nine, Buchnevich. 
At the end of the day, it is, that's what the hobby was. There's no right or wrong at that point. Buchnevich. For the Blue Jackets, two ninety nine dollars rookie patch auto, Bjorkstrand. Bjorkstrand. Kyle, I will tell you, you'll be surprised of how big some collectors are in the hobby. Three ninety nine, Danton Heenan. Danton Heenan. For the Anaheim Ducks signature booklets, John Gibson. You also got to remember anyone else who says like that's a lot of money. It is. But let me ask any of you guys this. If you guys made half a million dollars a year or a million dollars a year in your salary, would you honestly just stop collecting? No, you'd buy a lot more cards probably and a lot higher end ones. <laughs> and we've got for the Buffalo Sabres, Baptiste. That's generally how it goes. But just some people are very, very good with their money or they got very lucky on collections or boxes. Like, like I'll be honest, guys. It's kind of like my Matthews collection. I never, ever, ever really intended to sell it. But I am very tempted to now because I'm probably doubling or tripling all my Matthews cards that I bought. So, like, I didn't do anything differently than I normally have ever done in my collecting career. But I legitimately just... You know, I might sell some now because it's stupid money. Shea Weber for the Anaheim Ducks rookie jersey. For the Blues, two ninety nine, Robbie Fabry. Robbie Fabry for the Blues. For the Islanders, three ninety nine, John Tavares. John E. T. For the, this is a good one. I think it's a really, I don't know if they sell crazy, but this is a good one. For the Anaheim Ducks, rookie patch auto, Shea Theodore. Um, Brown, I don't know. Part of me says that, what am I going to do with this in 10 years? 10, 15 years. The money I could put towards a lot of other cool things, especially with Matthews. <laughs> I'm also debating about moving a lot of my doubles, potentially. We've got a redemption. This would be a nice expired redemption raffle for a Premier Rookie Auto Silver number to 49, Dylan Larkin. And the other thing, Brown, is like, also, I enjoyed doing a whole bunch of sets. I did a whole bunch of sets uh, in 1516. Like, do I get rid of my McDavid's? Because I don't really care about the sets that much. And a 99 triple jersey of Yossi Forsberg Weber. Are those the, uh, the basketball cubes, Kyle? And we got for the Philadelphia Flyers, Anthony Stollers. Be like I bought, I bought several of my premieres, uh, my premier 199 patches, guys, at like 350 to 450 dollars. They're now basically selling. Oh, GameStop. Sorry, I was on a different thing. Um, they're now selling for like 800 to a thousand bucks. It's like, yeah, GameStop. I don't know. I honestly debated about getting into them, but that scares the living hell out of me because I'm either going to absolutely kill it or I am going to absolutely get murdered. So I don't know which, uh, I don't know how much kahunas I have right now to really go down that road. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. Probably not, to be honest. That's my kind of my gut says. He did AMC and crush it. Yeah. I, I just, you know what? I just don't know a how much higher I think it's going to go. And... You know it's bound to go down very soon at one point. You know it's going to go down. Two forty-nine for the Buffalo Sabres, Ryan O'Reilly. What do you mean check Monday? Two forty-nine, Ryan O'Reilly. 
for the Dallas Stars, S. Lindell. Are you saying they're going to be saying a new one? Woo, filthy. We've got number to 35 scripted materials, Guy Lafleur. Um, well, Jason, if you're talking about only the U.S. market, I think that makes a massive curveball in there, in all honesty. Um, M&T is a Canadian company, and I'll be honest, I think most of you guys can agree with this. Most Americans naturally will not like that. That's a nice one. Number to 36. Gold rookie auto Sebastian Aho. I'm not saying brown every American. I'm just saying I would bet you, even the uh, collectors I've talked to, the amount of times that they do not like Canadian companies. I do not know why. I don't know if that's an American thing. But to be fair, there's a lot of Canadians that would rather support a Canadian company than American. So it goes both ways. We've got for the Preds, I believe, Pontus Aberg. 249, Pontus Aberg. And we've got for the Blues, 249, Tarasenko. Like every, every country likes to support their country. But the thing is, I what I always and we've had this conversation a million times over. What I love is people are, are already comparing MT to Beckett and PSA. You're talking about two companies that have been in business for what 30 years, and a company that's been in business for four years, and people want to have a comparison, which is great. That means they're doing the right things. Because I'll be honest, a lot of the talk I ever hear about is. It's, it's basically MNT Beckett or PSA, not G, uh, like GMA, not KSA, not SGC. It's literally only those three. In terms, so what I've seen in terms of grades, other than the upper echelon cards, they pretty much are on par. I would actually say they're pretty much exactly on par with anything. Nine nine fives. Now, m and doesn't give out 10s very often, so I don't have a very good analytics on that, per se. But I would say most 9 and 9 fives, ooh, six-way booklet relic, they're pretty much exactly the same as PSA and Beckett. The PSA 10s, for some reason, but see, that also confused me. I don't know why people pay a lot of money for PSA 10s when they hand those things out like candy, but 249, Matt Duchesne. Avalanche. But as the years go on and as they build a brand, much like we did, much like every other company, they'll become more and more valuable. Was KSA and PSA a partner? I don't know if they were. I don't, I don't remember hearing that. For the Coyotes, uh, three-color rookie patch auto, Laurent Daff Daffin. Three-color rookie patch auto. Does anyone else know on that? Was KSA and PSA ever? I don't think they'd be a partner. I could not imagine, to be completely honest, why PSA would partner with KSA or vice versa. I might be wrong, but I feel it's a very weird combo. Oh, that's nice. We've got, man, this is going to be a hell of a pack. Number to 55, Exquisite Rookie Patch Auto, Colton Pareko. The only thing is, as I said, I feel like m and done a phenomenal job of getting themselves very well noticed in a short period of time. And you got to think, most people talk about m and literally a hundred times over KSA, and KSA has been around for 20 years. That also shows you how much good work m and has done over the years to give them their name. But that's a sexy card. Holy pack of awesomeness. Numbered 11, of course, missed it by one. Of 12, Gold Auto Guy Lafleur. Yeah, Jason, I will tell you from a Canadian perspective, they are by far, in my opinion, they are by far the best in Canada. 
Not even close. And I do think as time has gone on, MNT will become more and more loved. But Beckett and PSA have such a great stronghold on the American population. that, And it's also easier for him to ship it to them, to be honest, too. So We've got number 48 of... Actually, I'll do the last card here. We've got a Max McCormick, 249. Uh, Adam, I will say, about cards moving around, I've had cards move around in all slabs. I think that's just a matter of how they get cut. Not by, obviously, the company, like, upper deck, I mean. 48 of 48. Six-way booklet relic patch for the Chicago Blackhawks. Taves, Keith, Hosa, Crawford, Panarin, and Patrick Kane. Well, we did not get a McDavid, but holy jeez, was this not an awesome pack of 15-16 uh, cup? Six-way booklet out of 48, Lafleur autograph out of 12, and a Pareko 55, exquisite. Damn. Randoms coming up right after this.